What's going on everyone? Welcome back. So I'm out here doing a little shed hunting this weekend, Easter weekend. And I'm not too far into the hike and I just stumbled across my first antler here. Looks like a little four point muley shed. But hey, it's something. There she is. That'll do. I'm out here with one, two, three, four, five, six other people, and they're all scattered around these hills as well. So it'll be interesting to get back to the truck today and kind of see what everyone comes up with. Um, we spotted some bulls that had shedded their antlers a ways back. There's a group of cows on this other ridge behind me. Um, so yeah, we're hoping that some of us can pull a few browns out today. So I'll keep you updated and hopefully we can find some interesting stuff. And I didn't get skunked. <laughs> this is day one of like a three day shed hunt. So I'm coming home with at least one antler. This is a cool little guy too. Anyways, let's, let's keep trucking along. You can see a lot of country from where I'm at, pretty much a 360 degree view. So I'm gonna post up here, do, gla do some glass and see if I can't spot any antlers out here in the open. There's a group of elk filing down that um, little finger over there. And it looks like they're kind of on the move from something. So I bet you a couple of the guys I'm with over there might have bumped them or something because I just saw them not too long ago over on that hillside. It looks like cow elk. I could be wrong. I didn't take the best look, but I'll try to see if I can see them better. But yeah, I think they're cows. But I guess now, yeah, I've seen I've seen a decent amount of elk today, so it's that's always good. So we're in some decent um, country to find some antlers, I'd imagine. We got an elk skull here, and I'm gonna imagine it's a cow or like a skull capped bull just because how it's upside down. And I mean, it's it's buried in ice right now, so I can't pick it up. But um, if it had antlers on it, I don't think it would be laying upside down like that, that close to the ground. So, but I kind of want to investigate it a little bit more. Although it's in here. Good. Real good. Well, not too far from the other skull I just found. And speaking of skull capped bulls, there's one. Well, this thing's been here for a while. Assuming someone. I don't know. Interesting. Just the heads, no antlers. Find my rifle. Oh, smokes. Find my rifle, that would have been a dead coyote. I was coming through this thick slope here and I was noticing some old rubs as I was coming in and then I just got slammed in the face by elk scent. I was like, holy smokes, that is stinky. And then so I started zigzagging through here and I noticed, there just started noticing there's rubs everywhere in here. Every little tree is just torn and beat to crap. But I wasn't finding anything fresh and then I found that fresh elk poop right there um, 
looks like there's a trail going through here. So I'm gonna just kinda zigzag through here and just try to stay on the sign and see if I can't turn any elk up or better yet, an antler. Let's see what we can find. Well guys, we got our first elk antler of the day. I just spotted it up probably about 70, 60 yards in front of me. It's a white one, but it's an elk antler. And that's what we're here for. It's funny, I always, when I'm hiking, like, say if I want to take a break, or sit down, get water, have a snack, I'm always like, okay, I'm just gonna keep hiking until I get to a good vantage point to where at least when I take my break, I can glass and overlook a lot of country. And that's what I was doing. And of course, every time, it's, it's not every time, but a few times that I've done that, like where I'm looking for a place to take a break, I find an antler. So, sweet. Propped up against a tree. It's kind of cool. Little guy. There she is, in all her glory. Sweet. Let's go. It's been a good day. I'm kind of near that spot where I was just mentioning how I was got hit by smell or a whiff of elk scent and fresh sign. Couldn't really turn anything up in there, but that's why I kind of want to get up like, on top again, glass around. Maybe I can find some elk in here. I know the cows that we saw this morning are back behind me. So we'll see. But score, that's super cool. Not skunked on elk either. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I needed to pick me up. I'm starting to get down a little bit just because I'm getting a little tired and I haven't seen anything, but I think we have our first freaking brown and it looks big. I'm looking at the base right now. The, the two fronts are just real dark brown. Oh my gosh. That's, that's those, these are the antlers that give you chills. Whew. This looks sweet. It looks weird because it looks down. Looks like, I don't know, let's see what we got. This is a good antler. This is a real nice antler. Huh, is this a brown? I don't think it is. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, dude, this is a heavy one. Holy smokes, this is what we came here for. This is awesome. Yes. I'm gonna do what I can to try to turn up the other side. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful antler. This is a good elk. I was thinking about dropping into this timber and then that white base sticking out of the sagebrush just totally popped out. Wow. It looked really dark from the backside. He is. That's a nice dark antler right there. Wow. Heck yeah. Heck yes. All right. I'm just gonna grid this section up and hopefully I, I if I can, man, that'd be sweet. I've never found a, a matching set of antlers before. So this could be cool if I find this other one. It's a sweet elk. This might be one of my bigger, like, bigger elk sheds. He's definitely, I think, the longest. Really sweet. Oh, man. That makes me so happy. The day's still young. The day's still young. Let's find some more. Oh 
my gosh. I, this might be the other side. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I found the other one just right up there. I'm less than 150 yards from it. Oh, I walked right to it first try. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do that. Let's go get hand. Let's go get our hands on them. Oh, yeah, that's this has got to be him. This has got to be him. First set. First ever set. Oh my gosh. This is way too cool. This is just unreal. Man, I got lucky. I, got, <laughs> I just got so lucky, that's what it is. I, oh man. Sweet bull. say this is pretty freaking cool wow this is going way better than expected a matching brown set two whites man this is just great the pack is getting loaded with the with bone well, like I said, it's the day is still young. I think we're just coming up on one o'clock. Um, so I got like one, two, I don't know. Probably had started, try to be close to the truck by like five or six and try to meet up with everyone else. So, still got a few hours to go. And I don't know, this is a good sign. So hopefully, um, hopefully we can get into some more. That is just unbelievable. I can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it. Cause I, when I picked up the first one, I was looking around. I see a set of tracks. I'm like, well, the thing is, it's like I see which way they're going, but it's like, is this the first antler he dropped or is it the second antler he dropped? So it's like, it's fifty-fifty chance. Granted, I mean, still not even. I mean, you could lose the track and then. I didn't like I, I wasn't even following the track when I came up on this one I, I it was really grassy so I couldn't I wasn't really following that any tracks at that point and I was just gonna drop across this little ravine here and work my way down into that timber and uh, this thing was just laying right here in the bottom I can't freaking believe it all right well let's get to it get them on the pack and add some more miles to the boots see if we can get some more antler <laughs> Feels good to have a heavy pack of antlers. Let's go. I don't know if you could hear that, but there's like some geese and ducks down in this pond or little swamp looking thing. And they're going nuts. Let's see if I can get in without scaring them. Let's see, Let's see what they're up to. Battle of the goose and duck. There's a couple teal down there as well. It's pretty cool to see. I've seen, since being in Montana, I've seen a lot of mallards, but like seeing other species has been, I guess, in the springtime. Yeah, 
they show up a lot more, but yeah, we saw a pintail yesterday. Now I see some teal in there. It's so pretty cool to see some variety of ducks in here. This looks like a good spot. It's probably why that elk was in here. Water, green grass. I'm just gonna just stick to this area and really search it a little bit more. Maybe there's another bull that dropped in here as well. Well, I'm gonna walk down there and all these birds are probably gonna blow out. Oh, there they go. Ducks are always the most skittish, it seems like. Well, you guys are lucky I wasn't duck hunting. You guys flew right back to me. You guys have been toast. These, <laughs> these brown, this brown set has made my pack substantially heavier and I'm getting wiped out. I kind of gritted out that timbered area where I near where I found these this brown these browns that man kicked my butt going up hills is a lot more tiring now the legs are feeling it I'm feeling it getting low on water I'm gonna break out my second one holy smokes it feels good to sit time to refuel Grind out the last couple hours. Oh, sweat in my eye. Well, I'm just about back. Once I get over this hill right here, I'll be able to see the truck, but there's some rain clouds coming in. And so the roads get pretty nasty in here um, when hey, yes, they get wet. So I'm gonna peek over this hill and I'm assuming that Everyone else is probably on their way out, but I just found a shed. So, oh God, I'm crossing this little, this little ravine and get back up here. I think I saw a shed. We're gonna find out, it looks like a hard white, but I thought I saw the base of it. So I'm gonna check before we get back. Holy smokes, I'm gassed. I'm ready to sit down, drink some water. Oh, what do we got? What is this? A broken, chalky, pink elk antler. Fun. Well, I might just haul it out just for the hell of it. Since I'm right by the truck. But, um, yeah. Whew.